scrapping a standard slide in uh, under the cabinet dishwasher. That's basically what you're gonna gonna see there with it. Pick this up on our last scrap run. Now you can see there's gonna be some metal around the uh, the door. Uh, the trays are coated metal. Uh, sometimes these now they're plastic. There's some trim pieces there that's metal. Your heating element on the bottom is uh, is metal. Slide trays that slide out are uh, metal. Uh, take these screws out of this door, and behind this will be a low grade. Well, behind this rather. I'm trying to point at it like you can see everything I can see. Uh, uh, behind this board is going to be a low grade board, but. The money in dishwashers is underneath it. Get this sucker turned over here for you. There's where the money's going to be with a dishwasher. And I was pretty surprised picking this one up at uh, really how remarkably clean it was, which is odd. It must have been out of a higher end. Well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, it, it was just in a more, well, I'm, I'm going to shut up before I say it's going to hurt somebody's feelings. But one thing you can tell, it's been an expensive installation. That's the way I, I'll put it, is because this line here, the water line coming in, is copper. Most of the time you're going to see that coming from this uh, yellow brass fitting back is going to be either, uh, well, I don't think they make polybutylene anymore, but it's going to be a rubber pipe or even PVC. Uh, you don't see the copper uh, on much of them. And you're going to have your motor here and uh, you can take that, that motor apart and get uh, the copper out of it. I'll, uh, I'll be taking that motor down and, and showing you what's in that and uh, how, to, how to take that uh, motor apart to harvest the copper out of it. There'll be some copper. I don't know if you'll be able to see the windings in there, but there are some. Now, on some of these washing machines, that winding on the inside may be a coated aluminum. I don't think it's going to be on this one. So I'll get this taken down uh, and show you what we got. Okay, we're going to go around and uh, unclip all our wires. And what wires we don't uh, unclip, we'll just snip here with the uh, wire cutters. You got this wire set here that runs down and goes down through the front door. You'll have to remove the front door to get that off. Now this little motor back here, if you'll look from this motor from upside down from the back side, right under here there's going to be a 3 8 inch bolt. And we've already taken that out. Now once you take that 3 8 inch bolt out, just turn this motor assembly slightly to the left and off of these rings here, and just pull your motor loose. In each corner of this motor is a little 5 8 inch bolt. I've already taken uh, all of those out except this one. I wanted to leave that in there so I could show it to you. That little 5 8 inch bolt, once you take that out, the top of this assembly is going to come out. And this is all good uh, shred. Uh, this, uh, some of these is going to be an aluminum. We'll see. I, I think this is probably going to be a, a magnesium mix, I would imagine. Has a little bit of draw. That's probably going to be a, a magnesium mix. You can, uh, uh, for the, the strength on that, I, I'm sure that's probably not going to be pure aluminum. We'll set that over to the side. Now here's our motor again. Just take it, turn it over. And like I said, we've already moved those four bolts. Just take this top off, set it aside. And there's some good copper. Now we've already uh, tested this and it is, Copper. It's not, uh, 
you know, I coated a aluminum. Some of that stuff can wind up being that way. You can just take a, you know, screwdriver or something and scrape that. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see, but yeah, see how that's a nice, bright copper color? That's what that's going to be on the inside. Now, to get this out, I'm hoping I can be able to show you this. See these areas here in the back? That is a plastic uh, ring on the inside. Uh, you can either just run a box knife up that and cut that ring. And what you'll need to do is stand your motor on its side and go around with either wire clippers, you know, or, or you can take a, a cutoff saw, a sawzall or something, and just cut in circle all the way around the top of that. And this area here will just come off and then just take this area on the back side once you take these bindings loose and either put your motor up against something and, and, and take your, uh, yeah, of course you're going to have these plastic pieces cut loose here on, on the inside. You can just take something and pry and work that around and this whole piece will lift out of there and that's some good number two copper. So that's what you can harvest from a standard uh, slide-in dishwasher. So you guys get out there, find that stuff, take it apart, and make that money. There went a big mosquito across the screen. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, happy scrapping.